Okay, do you want to know what I'm really sick and tired of? You know, what I'm really sick and tired of hearing over and over again from misinformed people out there? I'm sick and tired of the excuses. I'm sick and tired of the myths that still persist today in the black hair community. Whether it is the relaxed hair community or the natural hair community, you know, it affects all of us as black women. And you know, and that is that my hair can't grow because I'm black. My hair can't grow because I'm not mixed. My hair can't grow because I don't have quote unquote good hair. My hair can't grow because I don't have, you know, quote unquote time to take care of my hair. You know, so therefore I throw on a weave or a wig and you know, and I'm good to go. And you know, excuses after excuses. And it's the excuses, you know, that keep the myths alive. You know, you know, in regards to black people can grow really long hair, you know, past their shoulder, past the norm. You know, so I, I, that's what I'm sick and tired of. So, so you mean to tell me, you mean to tell me that being black hinders you from growing very long hair? You know, well, exactly in what way is that? You know, is it because our hair is kinkier, our hair is drier, our hair, you know, grows out instead of down? Is that why our hair can grow long? Oh, is it because, you know, we barely see images of black women with naturally grown hair on TV, you know, that's not weaves or extensions or wigs or lace fronts. You know, we don't see, we don't see black women with naturally grown hair that's all theirs, you know, in our favorite fashion magazines, on the billboards when, you know, when we're on our way to work or on our way to school. Or is it because nobody in our family, you know, has long hair, you know, down to their waist and so we are predestined you know quote unquote predestined to never have long hair down to our waist ne never mind never mind all of the improper black hair techniques and negative messages you know and images that have been passed down from generation after generation you know from from inside our own family okay so never mind that oh no that's not the problem right that's not the problem you know the problem is that you know I'm black and that's why my hair won't grow you know the problem you know has nothing to do you know with me not keeping my hair you know moisturized every day you know it has nothing to do with me not applying gentle handling you know to my hair every day you know not combing you know my hair from the ends on up every day or whenever I have to style or wash my hair the problem has nothing to do with me relaxing my hair every other week dyeing my hair every other week you know mixing dangerous chemicals with other dangerous chemicals and creating my own custom made quote unquote safer relaxer or texturizer or, or whatever or, or whichever one it is you know the problem has nothing to do with me wearing weaves and extensions and at the same time neglecting my real hair underneath every day you know day after day month after month year after year you know the problem has nothing to do with happy scissor stylist, you know, cutting my hair instead of trimming my hair, you know, the, the, you know, the problem has nothing to do with me not having quote unquote enough time to do my own hair, to learn how to do my own hair, to learn how to trim my own hair, you know, no, that, no, that's not the problem, is it? That's not the problem. You know, in order for, you know, for black people to have long hair, you know, we have to be mixed, we have to be white, we have to be Indian, you know, that's the only thing that's stopping us from having really long hair is it now of course if this is your attitude you know towards black hair growth ladies then yes of course you know our hair would never grow past shoulder length you know and down to our backs but but if you change if we change our attitudes and listen then we will stop blaming you know the, our race as the as the only reason why you know we can have long hair and, and you know and realize that you know we just have to change you know certain things in our hair care you know routines we have to change the improper ways you know that we've been taking care of our hair day after day month after month year after year and take care of our hair the proper way and when and when we learn how to take care of our hair the proper way you know in a very short time you know we will see you know we, we will see our hair start to grow past shoulder length you know past our shoulder blades and down to our back and beyond we can and we will achieve that fairy tale mythical hair ladies you know that that fairy tale mythical hair that has 
always been at our fingertips, you know, but we are the ones who have to make it happen. Okay, Shima girls, I sincerely hope you learned a lot from this new video, that it has inspired you, and that it also has made you think, you know, has made you, you know, you know, sit down for a minute and think of the real reason, the real reason why, you know, black hair hasn't been growing past our shoulders. Thank you, and I will see you again in the next video.